so now our next above problem is contain duplicates duplicates so given an array of num return true if the value appears twice okay means that if it is a num array so here is one okay and till here we are not getting one again but here we got one again so the value one is repeated so since this is the case so we will return true so this is the meaning of uh, what we need to do in the question and here is 1 2 3 4 so the, here is no duplicate here is no same number repeating again and again so return false so now what can be the possible approach to do this so let's take an array so this is our array 1 2 3 and 1 so we know that it contains duplicate but how will prove it so one is uh, we will compare each and every number with each another we will compare one with two we will compare this one with three we will compare this one with one so yeah it should duplicate so we'll return that return true then uh, similarly we will compare two with one we will compare two with three we will compare two with one okay to know that if it is a duplicate so for this type of problem we will get a complexity of order of n square which is the worst complexity we are getting it here in this approach and we to do it for rest of that uh, like same like 3 with 1 3 with 2 and 3 with 1 again so this is the order of n square approach but since we are not using any extra memory so the space complexity is so the order of one it means the order of one but can we think of some good approach which can lesser the amount of the complexity and makes it more efficient it's we can do it this is our Okay, it has one, it has two, it has three, and it has one. So what we can do? We can first of all sort it. If we sort it, so now one is here, then another one will would be here. Uh, two would go here. And three would go here. So, uh, is this sorting made our problem easy? Yes, definitely it is. Now we can now compare the numbers. Like one and one, we find the duplicates are there. So we'll return true. Because we don't need to compare now another uh, each other because simply we are getting it uh, from the uh, ascending uh, point of view. The sorted things are there. so the similar one will be uh, would be nearby so one and one will compare one and two would be compare and two and three will compare so it lessens the amount of comparisons uh, as well as saves our time but here since we are doing sorting so sorting takes again the time so overall time would be depend from the type of sort you are applying uh, as well as doing this so it would be order of log n and log n Was and also there, so it would be order of n log n. Now, is there any more efficient solution uh, for this problem? Yes, definitely there is. We want the solution that uh, must be in the order of n. So, what solution can be it? So, one solution would be. You have heard about this set. You can call it as hash set or set Python. So set is the one thing which is responsible for removing duplicates. So if we created a set of anything, so it won't contain duplicates. 
if I create a state of this, so what I will do, I will simply pass it into the set function and this would be one, then two, then three. Okay. Now I can simply compare it with this initial array. Okay. Uh, if I found, how can I found duplicate, uh, find duplicate now also? Uh, now I can do is, here is one, two, three, and four. There are four elements. And now here are three elements. Okay. So, if I got the elements uh, in the set to be lesser than the elements in the initial nums. Okay. So I would say that there is a duplicate and I would return true. This is a simple approach, which should have a time complexity of order of n. And it's a very easier approach. Okay. But what happens in the hash set, since we are creating the hash set of this, so it is taking the extra memory to create the hash set. So the space complexity would be order of n now, which is the issue here in the hash set creation and all. But uh, order of uh, time complexity will be order of n, which is the better time complexity we have got. It. So this is the solution. And in the next, uh, we will be coding it.